name is Al Furgoni and we are in Bernie, Texas. We are in this charity event, Grilling for Good. We are grilling for the first responders and we are doing an epic, epic event. I think and this has never been done before. We are cooking a whole steer. We are cooking cabritos, pigs, uh, chicken, prime rib, Texas style traditional barbecue. More than 25 influencers and chefs for around the country, also Canada and Mexico, they came here to cook with us and this is amazing. Honestly, I, I can't believe all this talent here and helping for the first responders. So let's go and check it out. So we came out from SoCal, um, just out here enjoying this amazing weather out here with all of my friends. Uh, we do just what we do. We do live fire cooking and uh, it's so cool to be a part of this. Try to give back a little bit to our first responders and to their families. So we're just out here having a blast. A little rattlesnake action. Fantastic. So uh, we hope that we can do this again in the future, and uh, the honor is all ours. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? My name is Mel Schmiller, Jr., Dark Side of the Grill. I'm from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Ladies and gents, a 50-pound Wyagu bone-in brisket done to perfection. This is some of the stuff you're going to see at these live fire events. It's absolutely incredible, the stuff that comes around, the skill that comes with all of the influencers that we brought up from Canada and all around the States. It's incredible. I came from Seattle, Washington for this open fire cookout and it has been tremendous. I'm Seattle Butcher's Wife on Instagram or TikTok and you're welcome to come follow me and my cooking journey. I grill all year round, but there's something about a sunny day and that crackling sound and the smell of charcoal in the air for a family barbecue. What you'll see at Seattle Butcher's Wife is a variety of different grills that I use and follow along my journey, give feedback on recipes, try them out, and we'll look forward to seeing you soon. This particular gala supports future grilling for good so we could actually just give the gift of barbecue uh, to the Kendall County first responders and all the, all the residents of the Texas Hill Country. We firmly believe that this is something that needs to be continued um, and supporting first responders. It's the Texas way. And so, you know, doing what we can do to help the people that actually support our community and keep us safe every day, it's the least we can do. You know, it speaks volumes about the kind of community in which we live. Uh, we have a tremendous amount of support in the, in the first responder community, police, fire, EMS here in Kendall County, and we're extremely thankful uh, for folks that put stuff together like this, thinking on behalf of us and supporting us. They got that big old steer back there. It's beef, and beef is beef, but I'm looking forward to having something that, that uh, has been cooked the way it's been cooked. We got together and decided to build a uh, something that's going to hold the whole cow and that's going to be easy to use and you know I went ahead and got to work on it and that's where we're at now. Something like this is going to be a very slow uh, kind of in, indirect but direct heat. Uh, it's it's going to you know you, you can't put the flames to it you want it to kind of cook from the inside out. It's my birthday weekend so I wouldn't this Happy is the birthday. best way ever I would love to spend my birthday weekend. Yeah, this is a, that, this is a this birthday is all, barbecue. This is what we're all about, right? Birthday barbecue. Fire, <laughs> fire and meat, man. So we're just having a ball out here. Yeah, you can find me on Arnie Tex on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Can a pellet grill cook some good old South Texas carne asada? Let's find out. Look us up. Keep the smoke light and make it work.